Hello, my wonderful first grade friends. Let's get ready for a science lesson today. So what you're going to need for our science lesson before I tell you what we're learning about, you need to get out your journal and you need to get out a pencil. So go ahead and pause the video and find your supplies and get ready and then I will tell you what we're learning about. Today for science, we are going to learn about lions. Lions are so super cool. My friends in Miss Jones class know that I have my very own cat here at home, but lions are a very different kind of cat. They're a lot bigger. They say, rawr, where my cat just goes, meow. But if you are so excited to learn about lions, make sure that you have your attentoscopes on and you have your listening ears and you are ready to read our book. Now, while we read, we are going to need to have our brains on and our listening ears on to listen for some facts because when we are done reading, we are going to use our pencils and our journals to write down some really cool facts that we have learned about lions. So I hope that you are ready for our book. All right. Hopefully you can see my book and you can see the title over here is Lions Animal Safari. I am so excited, let's get started reading. What are lions? Lions are strong wild cats. Male lions or boy lions are known for their thick manes. So they have a lot of hair coming out of their head. Cries. Lions live in grasslands and forests. They form groups called cries. It's like a group of our students is called our class. A group of lions is called a pride. Prides have males, females, and cubs. A pride can have between three and 40 lions. So they have boy cubs, boy lions, girl lions, and baby lions. Most lions in a pride are female. A pride can only have up to three adult males. So there's lots of girls and only three boys. Males and females in a pride have different jobs. Females care for cubs or the babies and hunt. Hunting. Females stalk or run after and chase gazelles, zebras, and other animals. They like to surprise their prey. Their prey are the animals that they eat, like for lunch or dinner. Safety and territory. Males keep the pride safe. They chase away animals that come into their territory. Their territory is like their home. So this lion is chasing away this monkey looking guy who might be coming in to scare some of the other lions in their house. Males show their teeth to scare animals away. That's the end of our book. I hope that you learned so many facts about lions and you stored them in your brain. All right, now that we are done with our book, it's time for writing. So get your journal, make sure you have it out in front of you and get your pencil. I'm gonna use a marker so you can see it, but make sure that you are using pencil. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna write our name at the top of our page. I'm gonna write Miss Bennett, but that is not your name. So do not write Miss Bennett, write your name. Miss Bennett. All right, now that I have my name at the top of my page, it's time to write the word lions because that's what we're writing about on this page. So we're gonna write the word lions nice and big and then we'll underline it. So we spell lions with the capital L, L, L. I, O, 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 N, 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 S. And then we will underline it. This is what your page should look like. Go ahead and pause the video if you need a second to copy that down. All right. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to write a number one where we are going to write our first fact. Now, the first fact that I remember is about where lions live. Do you remember where the book said that lions live? 
it said they live in grasslands. Lions live in grasslands, so they like to live where it's nice and flat, and there's lots of tall grass that they can hide in. So our first sentence will be, lions live in grasslands. So we'll start with lions. Remember, we just wrote it on our page, so if you need help spelling it, it's right there. So lions, capital L, 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 E, E, I, O, 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 N, 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 S, S, lions, live, L, 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 E, E, I, V, 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 and a silent E. Make sure that you put your finger in there so there's a nice space in between our words. Lions live in I, I, I mm, mm, N. Lions live in grasslands. Now this is a really long word, but I'm going to help you through it. Grasslands starts with a G, 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 R, 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 A, S, and there's two S's, another S. L, 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 A, 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 N, 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 D, 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 S. And that's the end of our sentence, so we will put a period there. And this is what your first sentence should look like. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to. All right, so for our second sentence, we are going to put a number two. And then I want to write about, do you remember what a group of lions is called? The book told us, do you remember? It's called a pride. A group of lions is called a pride. So that'll be our second sentence. So we'll start with a group. So capital A, A, put your finger in for your space. A group, g, 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 r, r, o, r, r, a, a, o, a, a, u, p, 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 s. Whoops, I messed up. There's no s on the end of that. That word should end in a p. A group of a, a, o, f. A group of Lions, l l l e e i o o o n n n s s space is e e i s s called k k c a a a o o two l's there and e d is called a pride p p p r r r e e i d d d and a silent e and then we'll put a period at the end of our sentence here is what your paper should look like go ahead and pause if you need to All right, for our last sentence, we need to make a number three because we are on our third fact. Number three. Now, do you remember what a baby lion is called? Yeah, a baby lion is called a cub. So for our last sentence, we will write, baby lions are called cubs. So let's start our sentence with a capital B, 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 A, 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 B, 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 yeah, yeah, why? Baby, lions, again, hopefully you remember how to spell lions. L, 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 E, E, I, O, 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 N, 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 S. Baby, lions, R, A, 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 R, 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 and silent E, are called K, K, C, A, 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 O, O, two L's. And E D are called cubs. C C C A A B U B B B S. And the period at the end of our sentence. That is what your paper should look like with your three facts. Go ahead and pause one more time if you need more time to write all of these sentences down.
All right, friends, we are all done with our line writing. Now, if you have more room on your page, go ahead and feel free to draw yourself a picture of a lion, but don't make it too scary because lions can be kind of scary. They have big teeth and big claws. But I hope that you learned so much about lions today, and I cannot wait to see you soon and learn about even more animals. Bye, first graders. Have a good rest of your day.